There's nowhere to hide in this arena. The saws and spikes are ready for some butt flesh tonight. I've never felt such a cold chill as I felt between the opposing box this evening. Hello everyone and welcome to the Robot Arena 2 Lightweight Final Rounds. Here we have Scout versus Miniberg in the first of the final rounds. Scout comes out strong, knocking over Miniberg. Miniberg stuck on his side. Can't seem to get through. Now it looks like Red Zone is definitely Red Zone Scout is definitely controlling the match. And there comes the Kill Sauls, ready to deal damage to Miniberg. Miniberg taking damage to his chassis. It looks like his battery is being depleted by using his primary weapon to try to self-right. And now it looks like Red Zone has flipped Miniberg back over, and now he's back on his side again. And it looks like the spikes have flipped Miniberg back over onto its bottom. Now it's able to control itself again and continue the match. And a good strike in by Miniberg. But Scout doesn't seem to be letting him control the match. And another heavy hit from the spikes on Miniberg's bottom end. Miniberg now having taken a, a large amount of damage to its chassis. Scout still controlling the match. Miniberg's main weapon seems to be got a miss malfunctioning. And a hit from the kill souls on Miniberg. Miniberg now with its primary weapon stuck to the ground. Does it still have the hydraulics necessary to use that primary weapon against its enemy scout? Kill Saul's dealing major damage to Miniberg. Miniberg not able to actually move. But still takes it home with a victory for 95 points, having not been counted out due to time. Miniberg will move on to these grand final rounds. In our next match, Team Z's Berserker versus Team Megaton Stinger. And it looks like Stinger's gonna come in strong. Berserker already on its side, not able to get that spinning weapon up to full spinning speed. And it looks like Stinger is tearing into the side of Berserker, dealing major damage to the chassis. Berserker's side being exposed. It looks like the wheels are exposed. Oh! And a turnaround! As it seems, Stinger's main weapon has been cut off by the axe spikes of Berserker. Berserker now controlling this match. Can he manage to do enough time, enough points of damage in time to win the round? It looks like he's taken a tire off of Megaton Stinger. Megaton Stinger now in big trouble. Berserker definitely controlling this match with the power and the speed to win this match. Berserker now pushing Stinger up against the arena sidewall. Berserker with the current 2,700, 2,800, 2,900 still going up. Stinger with the 1,894 points. 1,894 points. Stinger is definitely on the end, losing end of this match. It looks like Stinger's even lost a tire. Berserker is definitely now controlling this match, having taken a heavy amount of damage to his chassis. If only Stinger could get in one final hit, it looks like he could actually finish Berserker off, but Berserker having disabled Stinger's primary drive and primary weapons, it looks like there's nothing he can do without even being able to move. Stinger is registered as immobile, and Berserker takes it home with 2,000. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, fans of Robot Arena 2 our final lightweight round. This will determine the lightweight champion. In this round we've got Team Z's Berserker versus Team North Polar's Miniberg. Miniberg comes out strong with a strong hit. Berserker dealing heavy amounts of damage with that weapon at full spinning speed. Those axes are devastating. It looks like Miniberg's taking a lot of heavy damage. Miniberg not able to get in another clean shot. It looks like he's smoking heavy chassis damage, and now 
damage from the kill cells and the match is over. Team Z's Berserker takes it home that quick with 1,396 points you have. Your new lightweight champion.